You better be down here. Uh, because he's locked in. He's locked in. Okay. He's gonna get there first, though. Uh, 24th, then... We're gonna get there on the... God. Yikes. Are you kidding me? If we got there beforehand, it would've been so much easier. Oh, God. It would've been so much easier if we could just get there first. I'll lose this battle. Uh, if we can head him back, that'd be great. You are the, uh, 255? 253. Why are you allowed to walk through forts? I don't get this. AI cheating. AI cheating 100% of the time. There's literally a fort there and a fort there. I, get, I know you can't see what I'm gesturing to on screen, but you can probably get the gist. Here and here's a fort here. And he's like, you know what? I don't even care. And I'm like, okay, that's that's great then. You know, I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Thank you very much. Uh huh. That's obviously great stuff. And, okay, we have actually managed to um, sort of get everything we need from Venice here. I'm actually going to cross this straight over to here because we need this guy over here. So we can get into Venice and pretty much get them all done. Uh, are you guys done yet? You have What do you mean you have zero war score? What the hell? Okay. Not even my problem. But we kind of do want them to help us out. A little bit, at least. Actually, if you're going to cross the straight, I'm going to say no to that. By taking this guy and bring him over there. So I'm assuming the guy who had that is either a retreating army or he's not in enemy territory. Which means he's not important right now. Or he's in... Or yeah... He's not in enemy territory. Some good music, but it's a little bit loud, so we're going to turn it down a little bit, I think. I want to see, is he going to cross the strait? Because if he's going to... No, gotcha. Uh, we're not going to cross the strait, though. We're going to wait for him to be done. And cross the strait, of course. Um, come on, let me get this done. Let me get this done, please. 35? Oh my god, no 35. Gotcha. Great. The river crossing. I don't want that. I have to head over there. It's really, really loud. I don't know why. Turn that down a little bit again. And, uh... You're not really doing anything, are you? I know you're supposed to head into here. What's what's even going on? What? Yeah, you're supposed to... Huh? Oh, you can't because you have to wait for that guy to be done. Gotcha. That's fine. Okay, now you head over there. Maybe? Okay, yeah, there you go. You're done. We're gonna head you up into here. You're going to be support for this guy who's on this fort, which is in the mountains, so we're kind of going to need that. Oh no, it's Ulm! Okay, Ulm joined the coalition, guys, we're screwed. Okay, the game's over, guys. It's all it's all done. It's all over. Damn it, guys. Ugh. Well, it was a good run we had. Unfortunately, you know, all good things sometimes have to come to an end, so... <sighs> Darn, man. You know, it's just, it's unfortunate sometimes, but it happens. I'm joking. Okay. You can head into there. Can I head into there now? Okay, good. We need everyone back across this, uh... Sea of Marmara. Because crossing penalties are a pain. And Bulgarian separatists, so... I guess you guys are having some instability issues then, aren't you? Interesting. Siege of... I don't even know what that siege is done. Uh, but one of them's done. Also, you want to challenge me down here. Also, in Bardia, why don't you just, like, go to the port? Not the September. We're not going to get there in time, but, like... We can still fight him. Um... Yeah, I don't actually want to fight those things, so you can you can do that if you want. You are now on my fort. How interesting. And you don't even have enough, you don't even have enough guys to siege it. That's the best part, actually. You need thirty guys to siege Constantinople. Mm -hmm. We have a fort level eight there, so we'll just let you uh, take that the giant L there with your attrition. Uh, yeah, just drink up some attrition. You know, drink your fill. I'll be fine with that. Not even my problem. Uh, so we're going to head you guys over onto Venice, actually. Where you'll probably get a lot of attrition and die a lot. What? Was that was that a good idea? I can't even tell. Is this secretly 600 IQ? I don't think it is. No, it's got to be secretly 600 IQ. Something's going to be going on here. Cause that, that's just the dumbest move I've ever seen. Really? Alright, now let's move you guys here. They do have some winged tussars coming down the mountainside, though, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, bring you over here. Oh, Venice is here. Damn it. Okay. These are locked in, too. Nah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to send the help. We're going to get Venice out of the war soon enough, and that'll be okay, I think. 
can't really give you what you need, though. Because we can't really give you a leader. But we can do something, probably, hopefully. This guy's going to get there in time. It's going to happen because I said so. There you go. Told you. Let's do some more conversions. Scandinavia, you guys really are you're not you're just the worst. It's all happening. Also, you guys just hired a three-star general and 22,000 guys from Switzerland. You guys are really serious about this war. Wow. That's a lot of guys. I, I didn't expect to, to keep on filtering out into there. Okay. Alright. That's not cool. But that's fine. I'm gonna get rid of the Commonwealth here. There you go. Uh, you guys are gonna have a couple of issues. You got to replenish your supply of manpower before continuing on. Okay, so, oh, well, is that, you guys don't put forts on your capitals? Is this just a new trend now? Is that the trendy thing to do? Just absolutely nothing? I don't understand it, but you know what? It works for me. 21 siege on the capital instantly with no, no general at all. Works for me. Let's grab the 85 and get these guys out of the war. While the coalition grows ever larger, a little bit worrying about that. But uh, anyone far, far away can't really do much because they don't care enough. Really. Russia doesn't exist, which is good. A strong Russia would be an issue for me. But there's a weak Russia, and that's it. Uh, Trier has uh, joined the coalition. Interesting. Um, we're going to do this, actually. We're going to get Venice out of, the, out of the running here, if we can. Because they're not quite at full morale yet, so if we can catch them before that, that'd be good. Uh, although we're going to have a couple issues. We are... We're not going to be defending the fort because there's no fort there, first of all. Even better yet, let's grab the <laughs> Force March. God, please let me get there in time. Move twice as fast with Force March, right? Please? Maybe? Perhaps? Probably not? Please? Okay, wow, that was disgusting. Hopefully that works out in the end. I don't even know. If it does, though, that'll be the most clutch thing I think I've done this entire war. I'm extremely concerned. I mean, we have to check everything. You guys are doing okay? Fort's alright. You guys need to stop getting attritioned and start moving out more again. Okay, so Croatia's not looking nice. They don't like the, what I'm doing here. We're gonna get rid of you. Uh, 35%, okay. We're gonna see how that goes. If we could take Venice, that'd be great. I do have some reinforcements coming on this side. No reinforcements on this side yet. This is not looking... Great for us. Oh, they're gonna get there in time, aren't they? What? Oh my god, seriously? They shouldn't have won that war. They, I mean, that battle, they shouldn't have won it. Okay, so 39 days, we will give you your your, your, your peace. Don't worry about it. We will give you your peace. Just not right now, because you don't really need it right now. And I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys gonna go in and, and take... Okay, Sh sure. Whatever. We're gonna send you off to a safe place, like there. Once this guy's done, he's going to be easy pickings for me. Uh, if we can grab these Swiss mercenaries, uh, that'd be great. Take the capital of Warsaw. Oh yeah, because it's imperialism, right, so we need to get that done. That is the main goal, isn't it? Of course it is. Okay, I don't want to get so sucked into this war that I forget what time of day it is, so let's do a time check. I'm assuming we're getting a little bit far in here. Um, we're actually at 41 minutes. Do I want to put this as an entire episode of two episodes? I think I'm going to, actually. We're going to make it two episodes tonight, because, uh, I don't see why not. I'm a little bit sucked into here, and you guys have pretty much no one. Okay, we're going to... We're sending you all the way to the back lines, like to the back back lines, like the far back lines. Um, but apparently you just can't outrun the Commonwealth Cavalry, because you guys are going to get sucked up into that battle and probably destroyed... That's what it's looking like right now. So we're going to see how everything goes. Uh, they're really attacking the Balkans mostly, which is good, because I don't really have any defense plan over here. Although, I mean, I guess just the Swiss, but we can just keep chasing them around because they're afraid of our numbers, which works for me. At some point, we really should we should end up calling in Scandinavia, shouldn't we? Pomerania, Brabant, and I mean, you're losing the war too. Like You just got to gotta like give it up at some point, guys. Alright, get stack wiped. 
Do it. Here we go. There we go. Build up a new one. We're gonna make a something random mercs, probably. Um, maybe. Or just like a, an infantry stack of mercs. That was not good. That was not a good idea. I don't know why I did that. Let's go and make that, um... That's regular uh, mercs. Make it like a 30 stack of mercs. Because mercs are cheap when it's infantry, so... 30k... Mercs. Save. It's up and down like... Somewhere they should be fast. Uh... Oh god, it's up and down like here or something. There's no real way to like make sure that everything works out the way it's supposed to though. 29th of January, so in like a few days. I'm to retreat here. Yeah, manpower is flowing back into the field very, very slowly. Like, it's this is taking ages. Once Venice is out, though, we're gonna be... They're gonna be several thousand men weaker. Should take the capital. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So, Venice. We have 83 over you. Okay, yeah, we can take... Pretty much whatever we want. Uh, that would take seven more months. Am I willing to do that? No, I'm not. I'm going to need a lot of money from Venice, actually. Um, we're going to take that and all the money that they can give us. 129. It's not very much, but you know what? I'll take it. So, Venice, thank you very much. We're going to be taking this. Wait a day. Great. Because uh, we kind of needed that, so... There we go. Did I change the name? Yeah, Veniza. Interesting. Cool. Great. Okay, so their numbers are... Weaker from that incursion, or whatever just happened here. I'm a little bit weary of what's happening here. We need this guy to have a general before he's going to head into battle. Give him this one. Any generals that are over here aren't important to have. Uh, we're going to actually have you guarding the crossing. You guys are doing fort things. So not really fort things, but you're doing things that are important. So we're going to need to go and uh, blockade that part. Or actually, we should blockade the, uh, the Black Sea. Because we're going to want to go to uh, Bessarabia, I believe. I don't know if... Uh, are we going to survive this? Actually, we are defending this fort. It's our defense. Um, so we should be able to win this, because they have the crossing. With that. They should have the crossing. Where's the crossing? Oh, they probably have a very fast general. Uh, in fact, yes, they have a 5, which is be which beats my 3, meaning they don't get the crossing. Which kind of sucks, not going to lie. Kind of sucks a little bit. Especially since they like to pile the 90Ks. 90Ks is really up there. Okay. A little bit disgusting. Stacking 90Ks like that. Get you over there. Put you guys on forts, actually. That'll be important. Manpower. Uh, well, I mean, everything's pretty much still working out in my favor. Let's go to... Uh, you guys are pretty much 100% done. Why would you really... Really? You want, you want, okay, uh, we could keep you with Slavonia? I don't know. Do you actually have troops in this war? You do, 9,000. I mean, every, every thousand, every thousand counts, so. We'll see how this goes. Uh, huh. Keep the sieging over there. You guys can group up. Actually, you guys can sort of chill for a month or two, maybe. Really? Okay, so you're going to be slurping up attrition. Um, you probably have high attrition numbers, don't you? Why don't you have high attrition numbers? I don't get that. You just throw every person you have on a fort. And it takes you a while to, to siege them, too. Okay. Okay, it looks like you're going to have to swap out the shift and actually go and do something. Um, I'm going to bring you over here as well. But it's, it's the absolute bulk of their army that they put there, right? So... Um, that's not exactly 90k, but it's close to it, so we're going to keep you in the back here. Kind of like that. So we're going we're gonna to need to retake this as soon as possible. Okay, local tax modifier in an area that I don't care about is, sure, it's whatever. I'm going to speed through this, actually, because what happens, happens, and I kind of need to get through it a little bit faster when it does happen. They have a high percentage siege over here, so unless they grab that, which they did, interestingly enough, um, we should be able to grab that back from them. That's not good. Don't do that. Don't do that either. Don't do that either. Okay, so a lot of our mercs seems to be forming in directions that are not good because of this. Ah, okay, so you guys are doing the detachment. Cool. 
That's important, actually. Why would you... Okay, go over here and then here and there. Now, I still need to determine, would Scandinavia be a hindrance or would they be great? Uh, they would be great if they were in the war right now. The only problem is that... Well, you see... They're kind of in the war, like a war of, like, of their own, so... I don't know how useful they'll be. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know how useful they'll end up being. And this is super loud. Wow, okay. I don't know how useful they'll be. Oh, right, okay. So they got off the siege. They got off the siege. That was the main point. That's what I wanted to get done here. Uh, let's put a pause in here. Grab that. Okay. Sacrifice of men for the siege. Is it worth it? Nah, it's probably worth it. We're going to create, up our, uh, create our own death stack here. Macedonia, which is what I was looking for. I'm gonna go into here and then do Macedonia. Create your own death stack to counter their death stack. Although they are a lot better, like their their death stack's more efficient, to be fair. Um, can we grab this stuff? Well, then what's the point of the? Okay, just don't tell me you want peace unless you want full annexation. Ooh, I don't have a I don't have a large share of that army though, do I? No, I don't. It's just unfortunate that that happened. But if we get the full death stack working together, and then just go and take on their 90k, that would be working for me. Let's go around sweeping up everything. Alright, some micromanaging real quick. Um, numbers are starting to blur together here. Actually, let's grab a general. Sure, gain some tariff value. Let's get everyone to this one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously, a day before? Okay. Alrighty. 100,000. That was indeed a battle. Okay. Well then. Let's see what we have here. Uh, a 13k there and a something k there. Numbers are looking interesting. And by interesting, I mean I'm not even going to sugarcoat it and say, yeah, they're not looking good at all. Numbers are looking terrible. Let's actually redirect some guys down here because you guys are just taking Christian for no reason. So we're going to bring you down here. They seem to move the generals well, uh, like, a lot, so. I mean, Milan's gonna be useful, they can actually move across now. Um, so hopefully that works out better. But they're still at minus 92, they can't take the concept of the noble, which is good for me. Th like, the three... Three-star generals are really what's killing me here. Like, they got really good army tradition. Like, I thought maybe, you know, you know numbers can work out for me. Uh, not always, numbers are not always the answer to everything. As seen by that last battle. Oh, okay, it's just... That's 80k. Like, every battle I think I've ever fought, it's just been like... How many troops? Um, this is... Okay, like 115k. 88k. 100 and... Okay, that's just 11k, actually. We won that one, but whatever. Put it all together. Uh, consolidate regularly. Jump you across back in there. Oh, okay, we have one separatism thing. We can get someone over here to fix probably Milan, looking like. Let's go and blockade some things. Alrighty then. Let's go and. Oh, there we go. So as long as we can actually get a siege here, which is just, just not looking good. I mean, honestly, we need to push past this and then push past one more fort and then over into here. So we can really push past with the invasion army here. Uh, with a coalition on our booty. Actually, let's go with Holy Works. We need that uh, manpower back. 
We're going to need it back, of course. I mean, um, Commonwealth Manpower is not looking so good either. They have a lot of mercs. They have a lot more mercs than I have mercs, actually. I'll grab some more mercs. I need a couple more mercs. Let me some mercs. Let me grab some mercs over here as well. Some mercs are nice. Okay, so are you going to be... I'm not seeing full annexation on the table there, so... Not really willing to accept it. Outrages, uh huh. Let's keep you back because you need morale. Actually, let's group you guys back up. You don't want that. Okay. So, um, let's go and grab this back, I think. Let's go with a little bit more. They're, they're like, the actually, that's 60k. I'm not going to go with 60k. I don't want that right now. I'm going to go with this one. That's 10, or 60 ducats, not K. 60 ducats, I don't want to go with. Um, if we can grab the A, that's going to be worth my thing, probably. Just to get that nice and easy done. Actually, can we go with the uh, one here? Two would make my life a little bit easier over here on this front. Um, pretty much everyone is concentrated down here, which means, of course, once this is done, it's going to take a little while to get there, I think. Someone was on the way, I think. I think unless I'm wrong here, I don't actually know. Uh, but essentially, we're still me here because we can't move unless we have a full force ready to attack 100% of the time. So we're going to build everyone up to here-ish. Let's have everyone stream into Plovdiv, which is woods. Okay, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Of course, there's river crossing, so river crossings are not nice, but... They're going to get there before the siege as well, which is unfortunate. Can't really stop that. Either a lost army or a... Slag white, maybe? No, okay. That's fine, then. Um, so everyone who needs actual men... Is going to need to regularly consolidate. Well, everyone who uses mercs is not going to regularly consolidate. Because we don't have enough men to fill up the ranks for everyone, so we're going to want... People who actually need the men to fill out those ranks. And, oh god, I'm never going to push past here, because... Like, it takes so long to get to a high percentage, and then they come by with a 3-star three, three general and a 45k, and then come by, like, swipe it, and then leave. And they repeat the process, so they can live past here. So there's not really a point to having the siege here, though, is there? Like, there's no point to sieging here, if it's going to get wiped 100% of the time. Like, it's just, there really isn't a point. Because it's taking too much time, it's moving the troops to a place that they shouldn't, they don't need to be. And if we can send one guy over to Crimea, that would work for me. Actually, if we can, does that work for me? Does that end up working? Not quite. If we can send the mercs over to Crimea. Put pressure on Crimea, because, I mean, Croatia's willing for the annexation, probably. Um, does all the money work? Okay, yeah, they're beat. Uh, we can use the money, too. Sure, why not? Oh, my name just changed. Okay. Interesting. Commonwealth doesn't really want to fight as much as I do. Um, I want to see how much money they have, but I don't think I can. I mean, we can actually check in a certain way by uh, take on foreign debt. They're at war with a great power. Oh, it doesn't actually tell me how much debt they have. Damn, okay. Wish I could see. Uh, no, we can see how, uh, who's our, who, who are they allied with. It's Venice and Crimea? Oh, we're already at war with them. Darn it, okay. So, uh, like... There's a way to check how much debt they have, and it's really dependent on one thing. I wish I could see it, you know, in a different way, uh, but you can't, unfortunately. So we're going to do this a different way. Uh, we're bringing the, the death the death stack over. Oh, nice, national unrest. That's actually really nice to have right now. And Separatism is going to exist there, I guess. You can just go and sweep that up, maybe. I uh, just get that out of the way. So the death stack is gonna move on Macedonia. Okay, yeah, yeah. Never mind. You guys are supposed to stay there. No, no. Actually, you're supposed to go here-ish. Yeah, the death stack is going on to Macedonia just to get them right out of there. A killing blow, hopefully. Come on, death stack. Get them right out of there. 
want to make sure none of them come back. There you go. Okay, that's a victory we very, very much needed. We're going to head over here and turn up the music and bring back some epic music. Conflict in the Caribbean. One of my favorites, of course. You guys know that. So we're going to head you guys in there. We're going to need to turn this thing around. Because we're occupying things, but we don't have the war goal. So we're, we're pretty much just down on war score. War score in battles is what the issue's been, pretty much. So we're going to have to turn this around. Uh, they've lost 190. We've lost a hell of a lot more. But we need to turn this around. We need to make sure that we get this done and secure our dominance over Europe before they, you know, do the big old mean, nasty um, coalition thing, which we don't like to happen, so. Bring you over there as well. Uh, I don't know why I didn't in the first place. Let's get that done. Nice and easy. Siege is done as well. Okay, we really needed that win. See how much we needed that win? We needed that win a lot. We need to win the battles before we start the sieges. And the sieges are going to take a hell of a long time, I can assure you. Um, let's look at the actual numbers of men we have here. Uh, yeah, the mercs are going to have to go down a little bit more. The cannons are going to be manpower based. Because we can't afford um, merc cannons. Because those are extremely expensive. And we're going to need to sufficiently back up... Um, Everyone in, uh, what do you call it? Sufficiently back up everyone who's going to be on Bessarabia. So. Yeah. That's a thing. Okay, that's done being occupied very good. If we could occupy this stuff, maybe. That'd be okay. But it looks like we've pushed them back far enough that um, we're going to have to really make the mad dash for the capital. I mean, Wallachia is done for, pretty much. We wasted a little bit of war score, um, getting rid of Croatia. The Commonwealth doesn't want as much war. So, we might have to take a minimal number of things, which is unfortunate, but... Really, any sort of strike against them in the first place is good. Um, we're actually not even at war with Serbia, and we don't have access to them, so I don't know why we can go through them, but... It's kind of been really, really nice to have. Alright, I put two stacks together. That's kind of dumb, because uh, we have to wait for both of them to be done, to move them. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, can we get one guy over here, actually? And you do not have the siege, do you? I hope you have the siege. You do not. Okay, we're going to have to do what we can with you. Get that siege. Um, really, really quickly done. And back it up. 100% so it's done. We can't afford that, but we can afford this. We'll get that done when we can, but we just can't afford it right now. Alright, look out boys, or, you know, boys and girls, this is going to be a very, very interesting battle because of the situation we're in. We're going to get really, really messy on this front line, unfortunately. Like, there's no there's no good way to say this. We're going to have to go extremely messy on this front line, or else nothing's going to get done. So, uh, everything down here has been seized, which is nice. We're going to be taking this, of course, when we can. It's a good thing that this wasn't, um, what do you call it? Show superiority, because that's something I cannot achieve at all with this, uh, with what's been going on here. So that's that's okay. We're going to have to wait here. Um, I mean, their numbers have gone down significantly, although ours have as well. Our number of guys have been relatively stable the entire time. And um, I thought I brought my ships over there. Oh, right, no, of course I'd bring them over here, because that's kind of important. We need to break this line to get in there. Also, you guys done your war? Oh, of course you are, you guys are literally taking longer than I am with my war. Uh, Retinid, I don't know, I don't actually know where you are. That's not I wanted. Uh, Aret... No, okay, I'm not going to find the province by searching up the name. Uh, Am Amasia, Amasia. Right here, okay, so you guys have issues? Intolerance is a separatism, okay. You guys do have issues, actually. So the 30k, I guess 130k mercs is going to stay behind. Well, we can send the others to the front line. In fact, we're going to send you to the front line. We're going to create a very, very big, make sure that no one crosses this line kind of line. Um, are you guys going to head into there? We're going to crush you if we can, actually. Get you out of there. We're not going to head into the fort yet, into the mountains. Because that would be absolute suicide, like it is every single other time that I did it. And I regret doing that every single time. That was a bad idea. Every single time I did it, so... Also, where did you spawn? Um, Enlightenment. In Nanjing. Interesting. Well then, uh, I believe we have enough... What was it? Um, universities. To 
be fine with that. And that's the console that I don't want to touch. Because I kind of forgot to make this game Iron Man, if you can't tell. Achievements are kind of locked there. Um, but I'm, I've been a good, a good honest boy, and I haven't touched anything, because, like, that just ruins the entire game. It ruins the immersion, if you know what I mean. It ruins the fun of it. So, we're not going to touch that. Um, ooh. Well, that's interesting. Um, they're, they're not going to catch me, though, yeah? No, they're not. Okay. But that is interesting. I didn't expect you to try and actually defend Crimea. Oh, we, the floodgates have opened. They call the floodgates for a reason that you can definitely see right now. We're sending everyone over, including you, actually. Yeah, you can go over, too. That's what it's for, and crushing a couple of your ships, which works for me. We're also blockading Crimea, who uh, I don't actually know how much you guys want to fight still, but as long as it's still a certain amount, meaning, like, at all, then I'm going to keep doing that. Attach the blockade and send the other blockade over here. Actually, yeah, send over here first. And when it's done, attach that blockade and send it over here so we can get all the blockading we can out of that. We're going to go and guard Milan a little bit over here. Oh, you guys are going to try and go blind me. Uh, blind me? Behind me? Let's do another time check. Uh, the war's starting to turn around, so it's time to put a little bit of time check here. An hour and four minutes-ish. Okay, I don't know if that just, like, destroyed my mic, but anyways. Unfortunately, this is Corp signing off. It's been an hour, and um, that's kind of because I wanted to make sure this war is going to be done. So, uh, pretty much the main part has been won. It was, I told you, it would be, this, these early battles would be rocky, and goddamn, yes, they were rocky. I, I don't, if that's not, if that's not Rocky, I don't know what to tell you. That's, um, a lot of deaths here. I mean, of course, they, they would have more deaths if you consider the fact that, um, Venice used to be, be there and, uh, of course, Croatia used to be there. So, this number is a little bit deflated, but, um, I don't know. That's the cost of, of being on the offense, I guess. Tearing down the Commonwealth is, it, I never said it was going to be an easy task. I don't think I ever said it would be an easy task, and it definitely wasn't. So, it's going to continue next time. Hopefully you guys are having a great time watching the series still, and this is Corp signing off. Hoping you have a fantastic day.